Hey, this is Matt with Mountain Stream Teas, and this is just a quick little update on our Pear Mountain partner farm. We're here sampling the springtime teas. We found a couple winners, and let's take a look at what happened to the recovery of these tea plants after the frost event this April. <laughs> So I don't know if you remember, I'll, I'll put the link to the video in the comments, uh, but this particular spot, I was here, uh, I guess about a month ago now, checking out the damage to this crop because of the frost event in April. Now, as you can see, this garden has completely recovered. Uh, there are a bunch of new leaves coming up. It's nice and green, but if you actually look carefully, you can actually see in the tea bushes the areas that were frost bitten, right? There's a little bit more uh, greener greens. The darker greens are where the, the other teas were. Now they came through and they picked this out of this particular garden. They got about a 50% uh, yield as opposed to last year with no frosts. But, you know, it's just par for the course. That's just sort of what happens here. Uh, when you get up into the high mountains, you're looking at... You know, once every three or four years, you might get a little bit or you might get a lot. This year, it wasn't the worst, certainly wasn't the best. But it's looking like the fall pick is going to be a nice crop. But let's take a look at the actual leaves. Now, look at the leaves here. You can see that there is some remains over here and over here of the sort of of the frostbitten leaves. But these guys really have not had, there's even some sort of new, new stuff coming up. You can see, sort of see stuff like this. They haven't really suffered and they're going to be fine, right? That's one of the reasons why people choose the Chin Chin cultivar up here because they're so cold resistant. But thankfully, this garden is going to be fine and we'll be able to sample teas and hopefully buy teas from this garden for many years to come. If you like these videos and want to keep them coming, like, subscribe. You can always visit the website and buy some tea as well. That gives us some gas money, some dry powder to be able to come up to beautiful, beautiful gardens like this and buy their tea and share it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next video.